Hi guys, welcome to Samaritia Farms. Today, we're gonna to continue our series of how to start a cattle farm in Ghana. And we're talking about feeding. I'm happy to share with you our experience here at Samaritia Farms and what we feed our cows. Right, before we continue, please make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel on the subscribe button below. Welcome back guys. Today, as I said earlier on, we are continuing our series of how to start a cattle farm and our second episode is feeding. I know this is not a new topic to you if you're a Ghanaian, Nigerian or wherever you're watching us from. You definitely know about one or two things that a cow eats. Today I hope I will explore some new ideas with you but if not, we will just enforce on the old ones and even talk about when is it appropriate to feed your cows with it. The first thing we would like to talk about is forage. We all know that cows are ruminants and therefore they eat forage, which is grass. We have all kinds of grass, elephant grass, napier grass, brachyria grass, which is also known as morato grass, which is what we use here at Samantia Farms. These grass are all over the place. Wherever you are, whatever continent, you will find a specific grass that cows feed on. When these grass are cut, dried, and stored, they are what we call hay, and which is what I have behind me. So, we have grass, which is forage. You can either feed them directly, or let the cow graze on it, or you can ha harvest it, store it as hay. There is another way you can use your grass. The second one is what we call silage. The difference between silage and hay is that hay is a dry matter. So as you can see, we dried it before baling it into hay. Silage is when you try to keep the moisture content in the grass. So what you wanna do with the silage is when you harvest the grass first day, you bale it into this, and you can leave it exposed like this. You also need to wrap it with plastic just so that air doesn't go through and so that you can keep them moist. It doesn't last as long as hay. This hay here can last up to three years, but a silage after three months, you will have to start feeding. There's a little bit of fermentation that goes on, but after three months, it should be ready. So that's the first thing. And what we all know about grass and how we can feed it in different form, whether silage or hay to cows. Okay. Aside grass, what else do we have? I want to be very realistic with you here. When I wanted to start a cattle farm, I started doing a lot of research and even went to the United States, visited some farm. I saw a lot of food and its nutrients that are good for cows. But to be real with you, those resources are not easy to find or even if you find them in Ghana. Therefore, today I want to share with you what you, a Ghanaian farmer, an African farmer, can find easily in your community, or you even know it already. So the next thing after grass, whether hay or silage, that we are going to talk about is corn. Let me take you to our corn storage facility so that you can take a look at it. Follow me. As I said, I know it might be shocking to you, but all this corn was harvested last year, just purposely for our cows, right? I know we all eat corn. We use it for banku, for kinke, for everything. But why? Cows also need the same energy and fiber that is found in, cow, in, in corn. Therefore, it is very important that if you can have access to corn. Last week, we talked about preparing your feed before you even buy a cow. This is what we did last year, before we started feeding our, our cows indoors. So you need to prepare yourself. This year, we have also planted about 15 acres of corn. 
to replace this when they are finished. So corn is also another vital part of feed. But how do you feed corn to cows? If you're a cattle farmer already, then you know that when cows eat corn directly, they don't crush everything. So then they, it passes through their stomach and comes out. If, they, if that happens, they don't get the nutrients that they need to get from the corn. Therefore, what we do here is to crush the corn. Whether you have a corn meal or whatever sauce that you have. But what we do is we crush the corn so that when they feed on it, they can have all the nutrients that they need. So in a nutshell, that's how you can feed corn to your cows if you have the resources available. But if you not, if you don't, then let's move on to the next thing you can find in your community to feed your cows. So, as I said, if you do have the resources to own a corn, then that's good. It will give you the nutrients that you need, which is a lot of energy, which calves especially need, and then fiber. But if you don't, don't let it scare you. I know corn can be very expensive if you don't grow it yourself. What you can do is also using people's leftover corn stalks. So the fresh corn stalk that people have harvested their corn, they peel it off, the stalk. Once you cut it and you cut it into small pieces, you could either use that to feed directly also to prepare silage as i described in a short while ago so if you don't have corn the corn stock alone can also give you the fiber that you need so going to other people's farm your neighborhood if people have harvested their corn and left the stock that could be also another useful feed for your cows so the next thing on our list is cassava if you have access to cassava either the plant or the tuber is an excellent nutrient for cows in ghana cassava is everywhere and grows in all the regions in ghana therefore if you don't even have a cassava farm or the cassava tuber itself visit your local market visit your local restaurants which we normally call the chobas where they prepare for food you can have the leftover cassava peels or the boiled cassava itself Bring it to your farm and feed your animals with it. It's another good and nutritious source um, for cows. There is a research on um, how to dry cassava peels and also use it and store it for a very long time. Uh, we will put a link below and you can take a look at that video as well. We haven't done it before. We feed our cassava straight. Every evening we have a truck that goes around into town markets and pick cassava pills and bring it to our cows in the evening they love it and if you have access or you can have a zonto or a small van or even your bicycle with sack and go around and collect in your neighborhood if people do fufu every evening go give them sacks in their house let them put cassava pills in go in the evening collect them and give it to your cows and you definitely see a change so i know some of you might be wondering why do i have to go through the trouble of planting a grass which is brachyria grass which we do instead of harvesting some of our local grass which is napia and elephant grass that is good your animal will feed on it but the worry is the protein content as human beings the same as cows they need nutrients to be able to grow well so if you want to invest into the growth of your animal then you want to go with the one with highest protein napia and elephant grass ranges from eight to ten percent seven to ten percent actually content of protein brachyria grass has 18 percent of protein and that's why we choose to go for brachyria grass instead but if napia or elephant grass locally is what you have available then start with that so you can get your hands on a brachyria grass for your feeding now we're going to take you to our cattle farm to show you what exactly they are eating so let's join me as we go into the cattle farm so all the basic food that i've shared with you are things that i think is easy for every farmer in in, in ghana and in africa to get their hands on um here i'm going to show you what our these guys are five months so we have a nutritious chat if 
for our cows depending on what age they are next time i'm doing a video on nutrition i'm gonna explore that with you but today i'm talking about feed in general so i'm gonna tell you what these guys are eating these guys are feeding on brachyria grass dried one so which is hay mixed with corn i'm not gonna go into the nutritious aspect of it but that's what we are feeding them that's the only thing these guys eat at this age level five months and that's what we feed them i'm gonna take you to our three months um, calves and show you what we feed them as well so here we have calves that are about three months old so for three months old cows as you can see them at the background um, we do feed them with fresh grass so due to the um, moisture content in it so we don't give them hay till they are about five months four to five months but here we feed them with fresh hay um, so that plus corn so here we have again corn for them and what we have mixed with the corn is soya beans plus Wheat brow that is not it's necessary but it's cost if so if you can that's okay go ahead and feed them with the grass plus corn and if you can afford it add some wheat brown and soya beans we all know the protein content in these two materials it will help them to grow fast and very healthy so that you don't waste money on some diseases right but if you can as i said corn is perfect as well for the calves I hope this was educative enough and you can now sit back and draw your own nutritious plan on things you can find in your community that you're for sure that grass um, cows are gonna eat it. As I'm bringing this video to an end, I wanna emphasize on one important thing that normally farmers neglect and that is water. Cows drink a lot of water. So make sure you always have water wherever they are and not just focusing on the feed. Thank you very much for your time and for watching us. We really appreciate your encouragement and please do well to subscribe for our next video next week on Saturday. Thank you and see you guys.